I want to start with ease of use. Controller. Why is a controller easy to use? There. You don't have to worry about 400 other buttons. Back onto the accuracy, yeah, the professional mice these days are extremely amazing devices. Oops, overrated. So overrated. Logitech. Cheap Logitech is the go all the time. They're very light. They have a good sensor. Unique interpretations of controllers over mm, the years. Yeah. From the three-handed Nintendo 64 controller. Yeah. Welcome to Game Talk, where each week we discuss different gaming related topics. I'm Paulie. I'm Bryce. And today we're going to discuss which is better, gaming with a keyboard and mouse or with a controller. Well, first off, uh, let's pick a side. I'm going to have to probably, well, actually, let's not pick sides today. Let's just discuss the pros and cons of each, and yeah. then we'll try and pick a winner. I want to start with ease of use. Controller. Why is a controller easy to use? There. You don't have to worry about 400 other buttons. You don't have to worry about uh, spam attacking, and when you get into your gaming, obviously everyone you know likes to go fire, fire, fire. You, you know you, you're going to hit other buttons in a keyboard. A, a controller is probably more ergonomic. Yeah. And you've got less real estate to cover Definitely. when you're when you're gaming, which really? is important because, especially on the size of a keyboard, moving your hand from one side to the other is a delay yep. that can affect your in-game action. Well, one thing I've always struggled with is everyone seems to be able to be playing and uh, change their guns by hitting oh, four, five. Oh, I need to go to three. I, I can't find three without looking at the keyboard. I'm down at the keyboard. No. It, you know, I've got to flick through the scroll mouse and then I've got to find it and then move past it and then go back one because it's not there. Personally, I do prefer a keyboard and mouse for the simple fact I use a keyboard and mouse every day. I use a computer every day. So I'm a bit biased in my answer there. But the ease of use issue, I think, is also I can go to any computer anywhere and I know WASD, where it is, and I also know my left and right mouse clicks. Where on when I'm playing a console, I don't know if it's on an Xbox, you've got your controls and keys set out one way, then on your PlayStation it's completely different. Then it's different once again on your Nintendo. Well, one thing I will give um, keyboard and mouse is the mouse movement is much more accurate while playing. Yes, you know, absolutely. You your accuracy. Quicker, you can move a lot slower. On a toggle, it's like full speed weight. Yeah, you can turn your speed up, but like it's just not the same. You can increase the sensitivity. Yeah. But uh, yes, I fully agree. The accuracy of a mouse is unrivaled. Uh, not just that, the professional mice available these days for gamers are absolutely insane. You, Do you have call multiple. Mice? Do you call a bunch of mice mouse mice? In this term, in the computer term, are they mice? Or... That's a good question for our audience. What do you call a group of computer mice? Are they are mice they or mouses? What are they? What are they? Comment below. Back onto the accuracy, yeah, the professional mice these days are extremely amazing devices. Also, overrated. overrated. Logitech. Cheap Logitech is the go all the time. They're very light. They have a good sensor. Despite there being different control locations and the different layouts of the keyboard and the controller, pretty much most games these days you can modify your keyboard and, and keyboard and your controller layout. Yeah. So uh, you can yeah. customise them. Exactly. So if you want to invert your controls when flying, who does that? Uh, you can do um, that. Oh, you invert your controller. I do on the controller sometimes. So You're the guy that does it and leaves it inverted for the yeah, next guy. Yeah, I don't, I don't invert <laughs> on keyboard and mouse, but I invert when I play on the controller. Yes. Now, uh, how do you go about messaging people or, say, using the web services using a controller? Oh, well, I um, download the PlayStation app on my tablet and I have the tablet sitting next to me while I play. Ah, yes, okay. So that would be an issue for it's me. It's easier to um, accept friend requests when you're in between missions. If you found someone that wants to keep doing missions and keep basically making a bunch of money, it's, it's, it's sometimes the load screen isn't um, long enough to be able to go into it and do it comfortably, you know, you have your, your tablet sitting there. Ease of use is very good. I do like that feature. Battlefield 4 mm. was one of the first games to introduce that, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Where you're able to be the commander on the tablet. Well, no, it depends. If you want to go back, Nintendo did it. Uh, I think um, Smash Brothers was good. That's what we played. Next on to price. Well, probably uh, controllers are a lot cheaper than uh, definitely a professional controller 
is a lot yeah. cheaper than a professional mouse and keyboard. Well, absolutely, but you know. How much does a top level controller go for? I'm not sure. I think 50, 60, 70 dollars. Even then, you can get the modded ones for well, like 80, 90 dollars. Yeah, up to 100 dollars. Razer, a well known manufacturer yeah, yeah. of keyboards and mice for, for esports professionals, I mean, their series starts in two, three hundred. You can get a mechanical keyboard and mouse from Razer for about 250 dollars. They're cheaper, but you want a good one, they're yeah, two, yeah. three, so it's a lot more expensive. Well, I bought a set of Razer headphones and they're the best headphones I've ever had in my life. When you do pay more, you do get the higher quality yeah. product, definitely. Now, longevity, I think they're both fairly equal in the sense that the yeah. keystrokes and the buttons, the lifespan is only about 150,000 or 200,000 clicks or whatnot on, yeah. on both respectively. But also saying that on the controller side, you could be... You don't, you, you, you've got wireless controllers, so your keyboard and your mouse. You've got you know. wireless keyboard yeah, and mouse? Yeah, but when you, when you run to the, to the, to the um, fridge to go get something to drink while you're mid-game, because you're, like, you know, you're thirsty or something, you're not going to pick up your, your mouse and your keyboard and run and keep playing. At least when I've got the controller, I can still pretend like I'm, I'm doing something. To answer that, I believe now PC gamers have something called Steam Link, which enables you to continue your gaming on your tablet while you're going to the fridge or the, uh, the bathroom, so to speak, and still use all the power of your PC. Ah, so do you still have those nice user-friendly controllers that you can actually feel, or is it a screen that you can't really do while you're looking away from it? Because I know when you're looking away and you're trying to grab the um, milk down from there or your, or your juice or whatever, you can still know where the toggle is. I, I and think, you can still hit X because, you know, X is the bottom I, one. I think with any amount of gaming, whether it be on PC or console, using a controller or keyboard, after a certain number of hours, your muscle memory, you do recall where everything oh, is. I know, I beg to differ because I've played a lot of games on my tablets and I still don't find I hit the buttons when they're supposed to be. I go left when I'm supposed to be going right or right because you can't feel it. You need the buttons. You need to feel it. That's why... That's what the mechanical keyboards do provide yeah. over the uh, membrane keyboards in that argument. Um, the mechanical keyboard... You actually have a physical spring as opposed to a mat of plastic with a couple of little sensors. The mechanical keyboard does give you a lot more feedback and feel. Some keyboards you can half press them and have that as an action. Yep. So I, yeah, I have to disagree with you on that. Yeah, also, though, I don't think uh, it, it's a preference whether or not you like a wireless or wired yeah. uh, uh, controller or keyboard and mouse. They do have their positives and negatives yeah. on either side. I will say though that a wireless controller probably lasts a lot longer than a. I don't know. Do they last longer battery wise? No, no. I, my wireless controller still lasts all right. I think. It's how long? Just, you, how, how long? How much usage do you get out of a wireless controller? Oh, I don't ever charge it to full because I don't ever have enough. I don't ever. Um, how many hours of gameplay would you get? Well, I, I will charge my. I put my controller, charge it in for fifteen minutes while I'm playing, and then it'll give me an hour and a half of wireless. Oh, okay. Well, see, in keyboard, wireless keyboards and mice, mm. you, you often get 80 plus hours minimum. Oh, you know, on you, if, you, if you charge your controller to full control, you'll get most of the day, you know, day, next day of so use. So maybe 24 hours. So, yeah. yes, well, wireless then, I mean, keyboard and, and mice blow that out of the water. But how do they charge? Do they have batteries? Batteries, yeah. Or individual batteries? I, I think most people have, um, they get rechargeables for Yeah, them. exactly. See, the controller's all built in. You don't have to worry about your rechargeables dying. So um, what happens though if the battery in the controller dies? You obviously have to get your battery replaced, but they have a lot longer life than your individual standard rechargeable batteries that you get thrown around in and out. And well, takes... that's debatable then. I think that's that's a debate. Uh, guys, comment below. Do you think the rechargeable batteries, the, the, the portable double A's and triple A's, do they last longer? Do they have a longer lifespan than the rechargeable batteries in a controller? Comment below what you think. There is something that, that's uh, also a shared uh, benefit of both. Controllers and keyboards these days do have a lot of options when it comes to customization. Yeah, they, you can both put finals on it, you can make them look different, you can customize it to your own personality. You can, you can there's have lights, you yeah. there's buttons, there's, there's a whole heap of uh, modifications. So they do both have that advantage of being highly customizable. And in, in today's gaming, you don't want to be like other games. But so. the only downside is, is if you're going to have little extra lights on your keyboard and on your controllers, you're going to chew more battery power. Yes, it's going to have it a lot less life. It does cost um, money. And it's going to just add more weight. So, for an example, in, in the um, console era, when you've got the little handheld controller, weight matters. Yes. Because your keyboard and your mouse are sitting on the computer table. So it doesn't really matter. 
As for real estate, a uh, controller does take up a lot less space yeah. than a, uh, a and keyboard that, and mouse. And as history has shown, as history has shown with Xbox, they go on and built a with their system a great big huge controller that you know had all the buttons. That, you know, then all of a sudden no one wanted it because they couldn't get their hands around it. They couldn't. Have, it wasn't user friendly playing because kids were playing it, and had, kids couldn't get their hands around those big big controllers. So they went and built smaller ones. I will say that there have been some extremely unique interpretations of controllers over mm, the years. Yeah. From the three-handed Nintendo 64 controller, yeah. uh, which had, I'll put an image up here, it had three uh, grips. Yeah. Uh, you could hold it like a trigger or... But they had different, you know, horses for courses, really, because like with um, Goldeneye, I would play it because you got the trigger underneath, you'd run around like a, with like a gun, but then you'd play racing games, and depending if you used the toggle in the middle, you could hold it like that, like as people do. I do have a question, though. There are left-handed mice available for, or ambidextrous mice. Are they left-handed controllers? I don't think so. I've never seen one. If you're a left-handed gamer and you're on a console, then it's kind of tough luck. Guys, let us know below if you're a lefty and if you've got a left-handed controller. Uh, if you're a lefty and you don't have a left-handed controller and you're having issues, look in the comments section and hopefully someone there can find you out. If we do find something out interesting, we'll publish it next week. Well, I think that's pretty much it. Today, my vote is going to have to go with the keyboard and mouse. Yes, I'm absolutely biased. Yes, I use it all day. But I think it's vastly better and superior to the, co uh, to the console's controller uh, in aspects of control, dexterity, everything else. Yes, it's slightly bigger, maybe slightly more expensive. But I think your gaming experience is completely enhanced by having all the options available to you, plus the accuracy of the mouse combined. I kind of have to go keyboard and mouse too. Yeah, the, the accuracy of a mouse overrides kind of any benefits of a controller. Did I win? No, I don't know. I wouldn't keyboard and controllers won, guys! Yes. Yes. So we got two votes there for keyboard and controllers, guys. If you disagree and think the controller is better, list your argument below all the reasons why you think it's better. Once again, I'm sorry for last week's loss to everyone that uh, is a PC gamer. We will have a rematch soon. Bryce did great work in uh, absolutely tearing me to shreds. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to click like and subscribe if you enjoyed. From myself and Bryce, thank you very much for watching. Bryce, any final words? Good win. Good win. Yeah, congratulations. Well, we hope you have a lag-free gaming experience. See you next time.